Hello, and welcome to Bad at Board Games. My name is Brad Lake, and I'm bad at board games, so you don't have to be. Today, we're going to go over my top 10 worst value games, and I've ranked these by how few times I've played them and how much they've cost. So if I only played it once, it was a very expensive experience so far. So these are my games of shame, I guess, instead of a shelf of shame. We'll probably go over that at another video. So if you do want to see my shelf of shame, comment down below. But this is just going to be some games that I haven't gotten to the table very often that I may or may not like, and that cost quite a bit, evidently. I just did this, and I was kind of like surprised. So why did I do this? I've been going over Kickstarters and talking about the value, and so I'm like, Okay, I'm going to really look back at myself because I buy too many games. How many games have I only played once that I really wanted? You know, got sucked into the FOMO. And this is either going to be one of those, do I keep it and get it played? Or am I going to get rid of it? Because obviously I'm not not doing a lot with it. And it, and it just sat there and cost me a lot of money. <laughs> so anyway, this is my top 10 most expensive games because I haven't played them very often and starting off. These are like, you know, top 100 games. Some of them, some of them top 10. <laughs> this is top 20. My number 10. We'll start out with, this is Concordia. So love game, classic game, kind of Castles of Burgundish, you know, not the same, but you know, massively loved Euro game, all those kinds of things. And I wanted to get it. I wanted to try it. I have only gotten it to the table once. So I was glad I got to play it. I like it. I like it a lot. And I am I am kind of surprised I haven't haven't pulled this to the table as much. So this one I've played once. My copy. Actually, have I? No, I've only ever played this once. I got it for $50, so it's not an expensive game. But it is number 10 on my list because I've played it once. It cost me 50 so this is a $50 game, $50 experience right here. I don't think I got my money out of this yet. I definitely need to play it at least four more times to get it to that $10 mark. I really like a $10 and under game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Concordia. We've got that shame thing going on over here. And then next is, this is a game I really love. This is one of my top games of all time. And I am surprised I haven't gotten it to the table as often as I, I thought, honestly. Now that could be how I recorded it, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. But I did pay full price for the game too. Got Nemesis. So this is a great experience. It really is. I've painted all the miniatures. You know, we've played it at, I've played it at two and five and even six when we had like an extra player and we just went, well, we're going to do it. So we... Our group loves this. I'm going to probably bring this out next week because I've, when I realize I'm like, we need to play this more and I definitely want to drive the price of this down. But right now, this is a $52 game per play. And so if at least I get one more play and it'll, you know, drop it by half or whatever. But great game. I love this game. This is not a cheap game. So I have $52 into this. Great experience. Wonderful. When I play it, it's like mind blowing. Lots of fun. And I haven't gotten to the table that much. So, yeah, there's that. Number nine, Mr. Nemesis. Number eight, I I won't care if I get this to the table again. This is a top game BGG. I don't like it. This is through the ages. I know Toph says it didn't take us that long. It took us like eight hours to play this game. And we didn't get all the way through the third phase. We should have just finished at phase two like it says in the game but we didn't we're sort of like oh we're gamers we're gonna do this this was a slog uh, this was just such a slog i can see where it would be nice and enjoyable but i didn't like it and on the phone i tried to download it and play it on my last vacation honestly it was just too small for what's going on on the board and not being able to see everything the way i kind of like in board games so this one doesn't surprise me I've had played this once. It cost me, I'm looking over here, $53 when I got this. I don't know if that was on sale, but um, CGE, they make well-priced games, honestly, I think. But uh, this is not a game. I'll play this one more time. 
probably because TOEFL will want to at some point, but if it is not a hit after that, I will never play this game again. Not for me. <laughs> the next one I like, and it's another one. I, I just spent too much money on it. I saw it at Gen Con, didn't get to play it at Gen Con. And I, I really thought, and I, this is one of my first videos we did. I did. And it was Dinosaur World. I like this game. It's a cute game. It's a big game. It's a table hog. It's not hard, you know, It, but I like it. Uh, I, for some reason, this one made me really think Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, those games. And I really liked that theme. And I really wanted to get involved in that. And I wanted that on a board game. So that's why I was so hyped about this. And I like it. I know it's not this great, you know, high ranking game. You can get this like I'm. This was like over a hundred bucks or a hundred dollars. And you can get this, I think now for 40. So obviously they have a lot of stock, but I can still recommend it. I like it, but I've only been able to get it to the table twice. And Tofi hasn't even gotten to play this one yet. So this one, let's see, I've played it twice. This one's $55. So I paid $110 for everything you see here. So if you're going to get it, Get the base game. Don't worry about the extras. Play it for 40 bucks. It's it's worth a $40 game. No doubt. I I like it. But that's my, let's see, where are we at? Number seven. <laughs> I was like, oh, make, looking at this list and then kind of being like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so there's that. This one is going to drop, but right now it's new. And I just got this one. This was Oath. We've played it twice now. And so this one's costing me $55 for those two experiences. But we were going to play it tomorrow, but we, I've got an engagement with my wife, Ara. We're going to a, a Friendsgiving kind of thing. So Tof and I and my two boys are going to end up playing this. So, he, so Tof can experience it. But my two boys like it. My youngest is about this for his birthday. He really likes it. This is going to get played more. We'll at least get four or five plays in it. And so this will drop down to that $20 mark per play. Wouldn't mind even seeing us get a few more plays in that just to kind of go through the campaign that they've got laid out in the in the book. But um, Oath right now is sitting at number six, $55 for two plays. And then the next one, this is the Space Opera. And by saying that, maybe most of you will know what it is. Twilight Imperium actually have gotten to play this twice got it and then this was my christmas present from tof and my boys not that they bought it but they played it with me because this is a long long game so we've played this twice we played this at christmas just after last year and at my birthday so my boys love this game it's one of the actually it's one of the top games of all time i like it i i think i've got it sitting as seven this is this is kind of one of those i'm like I think the more you play it, the more you're going to like it, the more you're kind of going to understand what's going on. Toph's not a big into battle, so it's it's not quite up his ilk, but he he sat down and played it with me because he's a great friend. But this one is sitting at, let's see, $60. So this cost me $120, and I don't know what it is right now, but $120 times two plays, divided by two plays, sitting at $60 and my number five. So I'll take a brief interlude. Why did I do this? Like, like I said, I was looking at all the value and talking about the value on Kickstarters. And so I went in with my app, um, BG Stats, and I, I track what I've paid for everything. So I just started to enter in all of those in BG Stats. And so then did the insights to be able to look at how much this stuff is costing. <laughs> how much does this channel cost me? This channel's cost me a lot, but I enjoy doing it too. But I buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> not just games anyway so that's my number five break right so the next one number four what's the next one i like this game hope doesn't so that's why this one hasn't gotten played i think i swear i've played this more than once but my stats say once so i'm just gonna go with that for now is guy project this is a really great game and i think maybe because i've kind of played it by myself maybe that's why i thought i've played it more but just with to We've played it one time, and so the price of this was good. Um, CG had it. I got it for, let's see, I'm looking at $65. Played it once. I still would say, this, I just want to play it one more time. I, I want to play it more than that, actually. You know, So if anybody's around North Carolina, let's play this. Let's play Guy Project. 
But I like this game a lot. I really do. Um, it's another one of my top games of all time, and I just haven't got a chance to play it. I, I'll sit there and play it, I guess, by my solo or something. But um, but I like it. I do. I really, really do. And But I feel like I've played it more than once, and I just don't know if that's because I haven't recorded them all or what. I didn't. I've only had the app not quite a year now, so I think there might be some fudging with that. So don't don't hold me too too hard with that. The next one I know we've only played once, and it was a good experience. War of the Ring. This one got for a pretty decent price. Let me see, seventy five dollars. Played it once, so this is a seventy five dollar experience. To play this once. I was hoping for Star Wars Rebellion. It didn't quite give me that that same. You know, ending. It was a great ending. Toph was the hobbits, and it was the very last turn. If he didn't win, then I was going to win. And, you know, it, it came down to that. So it definitely had that kind of, you know, ending that you're you're looking for. It's like, if he, he didn't pull out the right shit and then, you know, was able to throw the ring into the, the volcano, we were losing. So... Or he was losing and I was winning. It came right down to that. And I was destroying stuff. But it felt more like a war game, which I like war games, but it it didn't quite emulate the movie as much, I think, um, as you would you would have thought. So, you know, like wiped out homes deep and and things like that. Now the ends thing where the ends come and destroy that area, that's cool. <laughs> that was very thematic. So this is an interesting game. I hope to play this with my son um, because he's real interested in this and we've, we've played Rebellion together a couple times. And so I want to play this at least one more time before I, I look at getting rid of this. But, um, you know, there's a reason it's on the top 10 or right there. But it, this one's hard. This one's a hard one to table multiple times. Uh, now we're not to my number two. And this is fairly recent, so I, I, you know, I give myself some grace. It is Cosmic Frog. I really enjoyed this. This is a very take that kind of game, and got nice components, got nice cards. I' not sure I liked the artwork originally when it came out a couple years ago, but I do like it now. I, the cards artwork is very nice. It comes with a silicone mat that actually fits in the box. But this was an eighty dollars game. I bought it full price at Gen Con because I, I couldn't really find it anywhere else. So I'm happy I've I've gotten it. This will get played again. I'm going to paint the frogs. So, but as of right now, it's sitting mocking me saying like, yeah, you, you got it. And you have all these high aspirations that you're going to play me a lot. And you've played me once. Get me to the table, dude. Come on. <laughs> my number two. What's my number one? So my number one, I got so FOMO'd on. I saw it on the Dice Tower. Um, I was like, I want this game. They they didn't have it at, at Gen Con. And then a, the guy who was in our gaming group was going to PAX and they were going to be at PAX. I'm like, go get it the game. And then he like, he never really, he kind of flaked out on me. He was, came to our game group a few times and said, you know, hey, we'll, we'll uh, I'll pick you up some games if you guys want some, you know, give me the money. And I was like, I'll pay you for this one if you can go. I even sent him the booth number. And then he just never came back. <laughs> Never picked it up. So I missed my opportunity then. Then I was just, it was a European game. I just waiting and waiting and waiting for this game to come over. It was like, had all the hype. And it was by one of the um, publishers that I really like that made Barrage. And so I'm like, come, when's it, you know, I would send them emails like, when is this getting to the United States? And it was coming through Asmodee. So I think it took like nine or 10 months for this to finally hit the United States, and then I was able to buy it. And I bought it at full price because I was like, I was just dying to get it. Now I can get it for, for less. <laughs> but from Cranial Creations, Gollum. I've only gotten this to the table once. This was, it took a little while to actually get to the table. And Toph and I like it, and we want to play again. But it's just another one of those, like, this has been hard to table. So this one, oh, let me, I can't even see my, my thing. Yeah, so this one's an eighty dollar game as well. So you can get it for less than that now. So if you're looking, if you're interested, <laughs> buy it for less. I think I don't know if it's sixty or fifty dollars now. But this is my most expensive game. Only played it once. 
And I need to get it back to the table because I liked this game. So I can't do a review on it because we haven't played it. <laughs> you know, and I want it to be on one of my top, the top list of, uh, it, it will probably be in my top 50 no matter what, but I'm like, I can't, I got to play it more to really give you guys a great and honest opinion of it. But I like these. So, you know, like I said, this is just me trying to be honest with you. What have I been able to play? How often have I been able to play it and how much these things are costing me? And that's why I kind of start to harp on what, what is the value? It, was this worth $80? No, it isn't right now. It's not. And I've got games that I've, purchased and i haven't played them yet. <laughs> but you know then i've got like marvel champions where i calculated how much i've spent on that and i've still got that under ten dollars i've played marvel champions so much no matter how much i've spent on it it still drives it down below ten dollars a play and that's worth it it's like less than what i would pay to go to lunch so absolutely worth it so what do you value in a game comment down below what's what's the game that costs you the most maybe you've only played it once what game have you played the most? Would you like to hear what games I've played the most? And like, they're the cheapest and the, the biggest value that I have. You know, do I have any euros in that top 10? Are they all like Ameritrash? Or are they all just card games or, or what? Let me know down below if you'd be interested in that. And let me know if you'd be interested in my shelf of shame because I've been purchasing games and they're sitting over there. You know, Games Nerd has a deal or Miniature Market has a deal or something and then I end up buying a game that I hadn't intended buying them. <laughs> anyway, thank you for sticking around along this little journey. If you liked this, can you click subscribe down below? That would be awesome. We're almost 1,600 people trying to keep moving on up and get noticed. And I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know if that matters or not. I enjoy doing this. So click subscribe, comment down below, and no matter how you play, whether it's solo with family or friends, enjoy what you're bringing to the table. Have a great night.